and then rechanged it back. Yo, uh, do we have a DC? What do you mean by DC? Horse. How's it going? What do you mean? Because it's straight up unplugged. You know, that would that would help. Alright. Alright. There we go. Oh, oh boy. There we go. Do we have Yes, Discord. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They got you. They got you. Alright, there we go. So this is <laughs> my, uh, I put this up in a hurry, so uh, it is not available. That's really funny. That's okay. We can do this in the end very well. At least now, holy crap, I've cleared up so much space in my desk by having a monitor raised up. So this is what I did. I just threw this shelf on the wall there. I really might as well have just duct taped it in place. There's the window in the backyard that looks really fucking for us right now. There we go. And now we have so much space for activities. So this, 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 and then I aim that down. I can take the bolt up there. Bet you I'm not so quiet no more. Huh? Am I still quiet, guys? Am I quiet? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Am I coming through? Can you hear me now, Mr. Grabs?
because of the SpongeBob? I am so <laughs> white. Thank you, you're the best. I am capital white. There, am I better now? Am I better? You can't Are we good? That on white. What? No, I didn't mean the white. <laughs> Fuck you! God damn it. What are we working on today? These sandwiches. I decided to build these sandwiches. Wow, this, this setup looks a lot more professional, actually. That's kind of crazy. Cooking show, let's go. All right, it's your boy, Mr. Kadichi here with the cooking show. And cables, and cables, oh no. Oh, and they're wrapped around other cables. So how's everybody else doing today? Today, strong build, not gonna lie. Thank you. Thank you. This looks a lot better. A lot better. Now we can get like the whole room. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, there we go. I'm writing. Nice! Okay. Mm. Strawberry. You want one of each. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want the extra mile. That was my solution. Just choose. She does both. <laughs> It's magic. Silent Warlock, what's good, man? How you doing? Why are you looking so upset, Beavers? Huh? Silent Warlock would be the first voiceless streamer. Well, I guess there's some other ones. Uh, one other that I know about. His name is Kanta Perme. And he streams Monster Hunter stuff. And Genshin. But does it without mic and he literally just types in chat with everybody else. So this is uh, where I'm at with the helmet. This is the top jaw. Om nom nom. Wanna read my sh shit? Not right now. Pretty. Thank you. I've been working very hard on it. But I definitely read your stuff later. Oh no. There's so much jelly leaking out. Oh god. You're one of nature's most well-engineered hunters, and we pick you up and hold you. And cuddle you. All you want to do is kill. Yeah, this way for this. A little monster. This way for this. Oh, her favoriteest of things? Mm -hmm. The lizard? Yeah. But I also like to pick her up I and hold her like a baby. Still need that. So maybe she'll chill. Yeah. It is a cat. Yeah, that's Peebles. She's the one that the emote is after. What is? 
because this, her lizard, is her favorite thing in the freaking world. She loves nothing more than her lizard chasing it, yelling about it, killing it, trying to eat it, bringing it wherever she feels and hiding it. Yeah, she's the reason we can't have reptiles. She's the reason we can't have reptiles. Oh, also, I did get the uh, the base Hazel built, and one of his shields. It included the parts for three of his shields, but one of those shields, it doesn't have two specific pieces on it. It's it's two pieces shy of having all three shields, and I'm sad about it. But that's okay, I guess. We got we got two of the three. I'm happy. I love Hazel. One of my favorite dum dums. Look at them calves. He got huge ass calves. Leather sniffer, how you doing? Yeah. How's it going? How packed your day been? Your weekend? How was everybody's weekends? Happy Monday. Yeah, and then here's the full armor seventh. He's got the big fat over the shoulder mega bazooka holder. This is one of my favorite suits to play as in Gun and Battle Operations 2. I literally, this this weapon back here takes like 20 seconds to charge up, but if you hit the uh, a certain suit tight with it, you will one-shot them. And there's nothing funnier to me than just obliterating somebody's health, and they just kind of like fall over. They get back up and they look around like, where, where did it come from? And then they die. Doing great, but some rando French guy got on my tits today. France tr truly is the USA of Europe in their head. They are number one. Really? When did you do the leg that was your Because I got something here from July 19th. Did those do the updated ones? No. No? Okay. Mm, I don't think I sent the updated ones. Okay, I was just making sure. I will send them. Okay. Cy Sentinel asking about the clickbait title. It got you. It worked. It worked. What's your title? My title is Ask Me About the Clickbait Title. It got him in here because they clicked on it. It did its purpose. You got debated. <laughs> you got got. How are you doing, Cy Sentinel? Check it out. I got my, uh, my full armor 7th dum dum and my hazel dum dum. I'm a happy camper today. I also picked up Bound Dock, the model kit for the Bound Dock, and I'm super excited to build it. The HG Bound Dock, of course, because I've got this weird thing for HGUC. I have a tiny army all over the freaking house. To my wife's dismay. I had to make sure I'm not, I know you're smarter than me. Kira. <laughs> Do you get it? Ah, oh, no. Oh, advertisements. Eww. Yeah, advertisement. Huh? Oh, it was Netflix. Okay. <laughs> oh, I. So your thighs put together, but I, I didn't have all the pieces assembled to it. You see what I got going on here? This mess. Mm hmm. Do you want to operate off of the mess, or do you want me to fix that? I guess it doesn't really matter. You have to cut out all those pieces anyways. Yeah. All right. We'll just send it your way. Okay. Uh, there you are. What's your Discord? Cry. Well played. Those are nice, stocky gondoms. Hell yeah, nice, stocky, thickness gondoms. Which is a dangerously close word to gondoms. Didn't do shit? Fair enough, neither did I. I was very lazy this weekend, but sometimes it's warranted when you just like wear yourself out. Yeah. Sixteen times a second. How you doing, bud? Check it. We got the uh, the hazel and the full armor dum dum. I did pick up the HG bound doctor. 
I think you saw anyways in the Gunflow Discord, which is totally fine. Literally went to France better than... Went. He literally went. France better than German better engineering. Then I pointed out German much higher GDP per capita. And many smaller German companies that do shit... Oh, damn, Foxy, with the one year. Holy shit. One year. Holy shit, it's been a whole ass year. Oh, Ooh. my God, Foxy. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you so much for the one year. You like the new setup? We uh, <laughs> we got a little bit more space, a little bit more dimension, a little bit more color, at least on this camera. Not really on that one. I look like a ghost, even though I welds all day. Uh, okay, back to the company that do, that do shit no one else can do. And the German chemical sector is the biggest in the world, and that is sorry ass would literally starve to death without BASF. And then he argued with the military sector, France never sold Leclerc, and their submarines also didn't sell while Germany sells the Leopard 2 and the submarines like lemonade. We need Kill Me in here for this discussion. Mm -hmm. He understands a lot about, actually he's worked on tanks uh, as part of his job. So he would know a lot of the difference between German and French. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Leather is the German fellow because he's mad at the French. <laughs> and why does that, why is that such a common thing? Like, it's always the French. For some reason. No idea? I got nothing for you. I got nothing either. And then he went, Germany could never done the Eurofighter without Britain and France did the Rafale alone, ignoring the MBB at the time. Was still a powerhouse and did the first thrust vectoring jet together, the USA. So I'm going to end, I'm going to end on this. All right, Germany or France will have my approval as being the best, dependent on which one of them makes the Gundam first. Whichever one produces the Gundam, that's my challenge to those two entire countries, is produce Gundam. And you will win the favor of some random asshole on the internet in which nothing really truly matters that comes out of his mouth. And you want that. You want that respect from me. From that random stranger on the internet who can't even speak your languages. <laughs> <laughs> can't even speak his own language. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> because they're just egotistic pigs. It's true. The respect is worth it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's so worth it. Yes, Sauerkraut and Bratwurst. I love, I love Sauerkraut. I do love Sauerkraut. And my great-grandfather made the best sauerkraut you ever tasted in your life. Bratwurst as well. Bratwurst. Fucking amazing. So the French aren't disliked without a reason. Germany's trying to build a water tank thing with six legs or so. So technically a mecca. It's, yeah, they're, they're starting. They have, a, they have a significant lead ahead of France. What's France doing? Come on, France. Get your shit together. You gonna lose this race to Gundam? First one. To Gundam. Nah, no, it's right there. <laughs> Sorry, Foxy. Yes, it looks good. I hate, like... Life right now. Life so... It's nice to look at. Oh, thank you. I'm glad it can be nice to look at. I literally, right as I started the timer for stream, I put up another shelf. That's crooked. I can tell because my monitors are semi-crooked, slanted. But Japan already beat them. Japan doesn't have a working Gundam. It has made several Gundam statues, and there's even one in China. But they are not working and operational. I'm talking about operational mobile suit. I want a Gundam, okay? I want it. You want me as part of your military? I am a very hardworking, independent man who is a self-starter and a go-getter. Build a Gundam. <laughs> oh, did I really have to adjust it because it cut off some of the stuff? That's nice. Eh? Did you, oh, did you say yes or no to I the... I said no. Did I have to press yes? 
Wait, what the fuck? Oh, that might have been a paper load issue. Oh, okay. Because it shouldn't print that far up at the top. That's okay. really weird. Crow! How you doing, man? <laughs> you enjoying your Monster Hunter world? Yeah, but have the back engineered exotic craft from Cratches? True. Like I say, English isn't my best language, just my only language. That's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. So addicted, glad to hear it. I'll take 20 karats with Vulcan guns. Understandable, but I want the excess gun gun. Nice, yeah, heat is bad. I feel fat and uncomfortable, and boyfriend is being difficult about confirming and paying for the home inspection, so we can finish up buying the house. Yeah, they got Does he house not understand house. you are pregnant? Yeah. Don't mess with pregnant lady. That you are pregante? Pregnant in the net? Pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Pregamers. <laughs> Pregamers. You got what I was going for. <laughs> Bunswear, take this hair in Dutchton. Pregnant. <laughs> yeah, Pregante. I love that one. Okay, I'm gonna go throw this in the same room. Okay. <laughs> Pregante. Hi, Crow, how are you? <laughs> Better than average. Good. Hell yeah. We bought that. It's not really operational line. Man, I went and I saw it. I went on the inside of it. I explored the inner machinations of my mind. It doesn't work. Just kidding. I've never been to Japan, so I don't really know. But... If it does work, we're all fucked. Japan's gonna come for revenge. <laughs> They're like, you never said sorry. <laughs> Send in the Gundam. Yeah, the boons were such. What do we have? What what do we have Poland for, if not to trigger art? Five before the Russians reach us. I have no idea what you're trying to say. I feel like I'm catching up to the the end of a conversation. We went to. We did do some stuff productive this weekend. We went to the Asia market. And uh, I found these, and they looked really good on the bag, and so I bought it without knowing what it said. I literally, I held it up to her face, and I was like, what this say? And she just looked at it and goes, I don't know. I was like, they look good. And on the back, they have a pepper with some peanuts. And so my best guess is like red curry. Yeah. And they taste really good. So I'm not gonna question it. They are very nummy, Foxy. I just... How would you describe the taste? It's... Kinda spicy and sweet at the same time, so basically like curry. Oh yeah. That makes sense. Mm. Yay! 
scheduled and set in stone. Did you have to beat him up with your Pregger strength? <laughs> your Gregnet strength? Just wait till World War Three. The RX-78 lands in California saying, Revenge, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it's gonna fucking go. I captured like four Radabon during lunch today. Hell yeah. I'm going fast. Hitting a strong. <laughs> now I can relax and not cry slash pass out. No, you're still gonna do that, because that's just part of being Gregor Nat. Yeah. Oh, can you, can you guys see her? No, you can't. She's just barely out of view. Hold on, let me see. This here, I'm gonna move my head. You see that, that little head right here? <laughs> the little head right there, right next to the mirror. I'm gonna make it disappear without touching anything, ready? <laughs> There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Peebles. She's the one with the emote. This one. I'm oh, Foxy just cat nap. Gotta go grab her. Okay. You can do that. I'll go. I'll, I'll bring the <laughs> offering. she got the emote. This right here. <laughs> she was like, I just want it. Peebles? No, no, no. B. P.B. Princess Bear. That's what her name stands for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ready? <laughs> Can you hear her skidding across the freaking wood? P.B. is her nickname. Well, just her abbreviation for uh, Princess Bear. Because as a kitten, she looked like a little bear, and she's our little princess. She's a very demanding, needy princess, but she's a prin Well, you know, that's, that's pretty on, on brand, yeah. actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> My typing is so bad today, I should not have downed those two El Presidentes. What are El Presidentes? Never heard of a El Presidente. Except for the Spanish El Presidente. What else did we do this weekend? I feel like it was a whole lot of nothing after that trip. So we went and we got food, I went and picked up Gundam. Saturday we basically just worked and stuff. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, I spent that day setting up the uh, the joint in the seething basil. Mm -hmm. Ah, my elbow. I did try stealing your side of the bed. It did not work because she was very upset about it. Ooh, my bed. Apparently, my fat ass can only level half of the bed. And then I have to live in my own crater. Forever. Yep, that's how it works. Rump five. I don't know what CL stands for. Centiliters? Rum. Vermouth, triple sec, and a spoon of gr grenadine. Wow. That sounds pretty good. Hair appointment. Oh, did dang. What you getting your hair did for? I'm lucky. I got my hairstylist. Right here. Damn right. 
Anytime anybody questions me about the length of my hair, I tell them that my wife would kill me if I cut it. Yep. And they, and then if they keep going on their bullshit about my hair, I tell them, look, I ain't trying to be attractive for you. I'm trying to be attractive for her. <laughs> Is there something you're trying to tell me here? Because if you're coming after me, you gotta lay out the, uh, the, the, your worth in this relationship, okay? Because I'm not attracted to you, and that's already a bad start. <laughs> then they get a little, a little fucky after that. They get a little confused. And that's okay. That's normal. I feel like my pointer finger is a little numb. Do we have a recycling in here? Define recycling. Paper. I mean, you can put it in here. I only put foam and paper in there so far. Oh. We'll just make this Me so with my fun. paper bags under <laughs> my desk and that's my garbage can. Lori! Oh my god, it's been six months! Six Holy months. crap! I gotta figure out why the sub stuff isn't playing, but the the other sound alert stuff plays twice. There we go. But there's no sound to it. What the? They just keep destroying his cabbage patch. Yeah, I just love that they got the original voice actor. Amazing. That made me super happy. Yeah. And I also didn't realize that they had the most of the world And what does he do? He is a Korean American actor. Yeah, what, what else is he acting in? I don't think you know anything. Okay, but you do? Yeah. Well, you tell me then. I'm holding this marker like a <laughs> fifth grader. I keep forgetting to actually spend time to update like the uh I don't know what to do for the subscribe notice. Most people will play like a GIF or something like that. I don't know what GIF I would play. Maybe a basil yeast theme one. Yeah, it'll scream B-52 Bomber inbound! And then play the Basil Beast theme for a second. He's so annoying for you. <laughs> like, oh, make it stop! <laughs> no! I don't want it. Oh, that's funny. Apparently, he was the original voice actor for Lord Ozai as well. Oh my god. I didn't know that. Before. Being cast in, maybe? Nope, I lied. It's in post production. So, this is the live action one in the TV series. So, it's in post production. It should be released at some point. Noise! Oh, yeah. Hawaii 5 0. He was in that one. RKO out of nowhere! Amazing. He was in Hawaii 5 0? Yeah, the remake ones that they did. I have never seen it. I got my head, man. Can't see you when I look straight down. Best voice actor in history. 
He is great. He is he is really great. Welcome, Dano. It's all right. Bragging about your highest grade started wins. <laughs> Bragging about your highest grade started wins. You know points. Bragging about your highest grade started wins. You know points. I don't know where the where the where the comma should be in there, and I'm struggling. <laughs> Anyone here watched Lupin the Third? What about the first two Lupins? If Lupin the Third is so good, why haven't I heard about Lupin the First and Second? Let me use that meme in reverse. What? Okay, so the one that most people know him from is Lost. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it was something I just couldn't remember what the frick it was called. <laughs> Poor guy. He was part of that yeah. nonsense. But he actually apparently was in The Legend of Korra as a voice actor. Oh, and neat. was another voice actor for some of the um, video games for Avatar. Which is had video games? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, I like it when uh, the actual voice actors do the video game stuff. Because wow, can it be so bad just immersion ruining when it's not them. But... I can understand the Dragon Ball ones, since there's been like 50 bajillion Dragon Ball games. I think all the voice actors came back for uh, Fighter Z, just because it was such, it was so well made that they're like, oh yeah, okay, we'll actually come back for this one because it, paychecks are nice and it's worth it. They actually had a tournament that was hosted by the voice actor for Vegeta and Goku. The Japanese voice actors? English. English? Because oh. it was an English tournament. Oh, okay. However, Grandma Goku finds any reason to come over here to hang out too. She's awesome. Yep, I don't care what people say about the voice in Japanese, I totally love it. At first, I was like, that's not what I expected. I expected, like, Josuke or something. <laughs> super deep voice. God, these tiny pieces are super hard to do when my brain doesn't want to focus no more. Maybe I should have made tea. Sure so? It was just really weird. No, I went kidding. to go watch the Japanese version because I was like, I want to watch this instead. And then I just couldn't get over it. Like, this sounds weird. Does he sound super girly? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> At least Goku doesn't. I just can't imagine her sitting there screaming for like five minutes like they do in <laughs> English. That just seems unfathomable. It's just this sweet old lady. Ha ha! Who knows? She might have grandkids. <laughs> oh god. More troublesome kids for school. Oh yeah. Well, that would make sense. Just scream about them. And are they this time respecting the cultural influences by not randomly putting in versions that should be Indonesians? It's all right. Wait, in what? In what show? Oh, Persians that should, oh, for Avatar The Last Airbender? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they're, they're absolutely going with um, culturally accurate. Bragging about starting fifth grade wins you no points. Have you seen Sandman yet? I have not seen Sandman. Fighter Z is getting rollback netcode added to it, so that's cool. What is rollback netcode? I don't know what even that is. Gonna lurk. Wanna write a bit and listen to some music right on. Sounds Thank good. you, Lurk. Good writing. Good luck, host. I believe in you. How could that be upside down? I was just saying I was writing like a fifth grader, not that I was a fifth grader anymore. I went to college, okay? And I wrote like a fifth grader in college too. Which is okay. Oh my god. I don't need cursive, I'm not trying to be a doctor. Sure, I believe you. What? I have a t-shirt to prove it. 
bought it online. No, what? You can't. <laughs> I'm I mean, you probably could. Yeah, I'm kidding though. I like how that's my way of proving I went to college. I have a t-shirt that has my college's name on it. Indisputable. I also have a credit card that I should have paid off a long time ago that has purchases from the school cafe and shit. Yeah, that was a weird time. Working at Target part-time and trying to do school full-time in which I had to drive what is it, like 25, 50 miles away? I do not know. It's not 50 miles away. It's at least 25 then. 50 miles a day. Yeah. Back and forth. I wanted to live up at school, or down at school, I should say. But my fucking mom's like, yeah, it's more expensive. I'm like, you ain't paying for it. I make it through this course. I'm paying for it. And then I didn't make it through the course because I fucked around like I knew I would. I wanted to discipline myself by locking myself at college, but she wouldn't fucking let me. Typical pants. Cursive, pfft, but can you write in calligraphy? She can. I can. That's why I got her. <laughs> I got her for the fancy stuff? Okay, okay. I don't, I don't need to know how to do fancy stuff. She can do fancy stuff. What did you go to college to? Fifth gradery? I went to college for sixth gradery, okay? Which is one higher than fifth gradery. <laughs> what is this, just dunk on gem day? Yeah. You're lucky I used all my brain cells at work today, otherwise I'd have some witty comebacks. <laughs> now you're against me too! <laughs> you're supposed to be my emotional support! Oh, okay. That's the last template to ever do for you. Lies. You love me too much. Apparently. <laughs> Stupid human emotions. Feelings. Mm. Feelings. <laughs> You're my favorite fourth grader, but I'm not even <laughs> Jim Dunk Day. God damn it. Don't worry, I'm on your side. <laughs> You're my favorite fourth grader. I passed the fourth grade. I am at least a fifth grader. Who went to sixth grade college. I learned it real good. How to hold a crayon with my entire fist. And draw. That's what I did in sixth grade college. What did you go go to it for? Robotic engineering. Basically, I wanted to play with Legos. Because, yes, I'm still a child and I wanted to play with Legos anyways. So, uh, I wanted to initially go, like, my dream, my ambition was, like, Tony Stark, basically. I wanted to go work for, like, the Google X program, which they literally get paid egregious amounts of money to... Uh, just mess with technology and try to invent things, right? And so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to learn as much as I could. So I should have gotten to like MIT or something like that and gotten like mechanical engineering, electrical engineering degrees and like physics, uh, mechanical, I said mechanical, right? Yep. Mechanical, robotic, electronic, amalgamation, right? I, I needed to basically get a bachelor's in like everything. In science as well, probably. Um, but I found the course through Dunwoody for robotic engineering, and so I was like, oh, I'll just go take that course because it's like going to have everything I need, right? And then when we go, like, when I was filling out the application and doing all that stuff, it made it sound like it was exactly what I was looking for with it. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to pave the way with industrialization and of robotic and technological whatever, right? And then, like, I go into the class for the first day after everything gets set out, we got the load, all that stuff out, and they're like, yeah, so basically what this what this course is going to get for you is that it's going to teach you how to maintain and repair robots that are currently being used in the... in, in, in industries, right? So, 
just your your automation that's used to build stuff. And currently what I'm working with at work is like welding robots, right? So the robots do all the welding, flipping everything and whatnot. And then we basically fix the robots fuck ups because it can't do everything. It doesn't have eyes, ears, mouth, touch, feelings, unless you call it names. And then suddenly all the welds don't want to work right because they, I swear to God, robots have personalities just hidden away somewhere in their code. You just wanted to build a mecha. Yes, I did. And what's so wrong with that? <laughs> of course I did. I wanted to be a robotic engineer, man. I wanted to build a Gundam. I was like, nobody's building a Gundam fast enough. Over here like Thanos with the glove, like, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. That's what I was after. I was going to straight up do it myself. But then I realized that that course was like just gonna get me doing maintenance jobs, essentially, because Dunwoody is more of a glorified trade school. And so at the end of your curriculum, you do, actually, as part of your second year, you do six months of internship uh, for the different companies that they, that essentially you're already being scouted for through Dunwoody. So they, they pride themselves on having a placement for graduates. Like, oh, we have a 98% placement for our graduates. So if you graduate through them, you have a 98% chance of just immediately having a job to walk into. And that's essentially what they're doing for you. It's, it's literally like you pay for your training for, for it, which is weird, but... I mean, that is what college is meant to be, right? Mm -hmm. In trade schools and stuff. But I was like, oh, I don't want to be stuck in warehouses just, you know, fixing somebody else's fuck up. I hate that kind of shit. Like, ah, oh, that'd be so awful. And then immediately after leaving college, I go and I get a job repairing electronics in which I found out, oh, hey, it's actually pretty fun to troubleshoot and problem solve and figure out how broken things work and how to fix them and always having a new piece of technology that I haven't seen before that I have to repair right and that's what my job would have been and so I'm like fuck maybe I should have just kept with it and so I'm thinking about going back honestly uh, the other thing that can be shitty about it is if you are an on-call tech like that most often or not your day is because I talked to some of the people that basically were doing what I was doing or what I was going to do uh, at my last job because our cranes would constantly break down and so people had to come in and uh, basically be on call to fix our cranes whenever and they weren't the same people every time so it was just through some companies and stuff and they show up they they fix whatever or they have to order a part or they have to do something then they go to the next call that they have and they just keep doing that on cycle and you can end up driving all over the state you can end up driving all over the country in some cases uh some of the jobs that were lined up through dunwoody were all over the country as well those are some of the bigger paying ones because you have to drive so far and the kind of machinery you're going to fix for a job like that is very uh word I'm looking for. Very expensive machinery. I think the robot that I was using at my last job that I was constantly fixing, just being a lowly employee, was worth five million dollars. That is six zeros with a five in front of it. That's a lot of money. And they had this doofus, this sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth grader repairing it with duct tape and a dream. You should learn sorcery also, so it could be Magitech Mech, Magitech, Magi, Magitech Girls, there we go. Sailor Mecha Moon. My uncle works for Shunk. I bet you guys got some end of arm shit from them. Probably, definitely. More seething hazel juice. Actually, here's, here's a hazel juice. There we go. And now he's seething caged hazel juice. How you doing, Kaga, man? I saw you streaming, but I didn't have time to come say hi because I get home, I shower, I jump on here. How's, how's the RG wing going, man? If y'all are looking for a nice, chill streamer to go hang out with who works on Gundam kits, 
or plays awesome video games, be sure to check out a Young Kaiga. Val, could you do me a favor? Could you SO Young Kaiga? I'll be honest, I have no idea why people study STEM fields in the USA. I bet it's cheaper to fly to move to Europe and study here. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's any any college course would be substantially cheaper to go anywhere else for. And it's it's just it's crazy. It's weird to me that like how you said like Koreans will come here. More Chinese. More Chinese? Yeah, Japanese. Will come here for our colleges and stuff because it's easier to get placed here than it is in their countries. But it's substantially more expensive. That's why they're all super rich. Oh, that makes sense. So I was living in Michigan, and a lot of like the boring students would have super nice cars that they, they drive around. What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> Bastard. I'll never forgive the Japanese. <laughs> Joseph. Yeah, bud. Pizza break. Oh man, pizza sounds good. But we got all sorts of other stuff to cook. What am, am I cooking tonight? I don't know who's cooking tonight. We did not figure out when. Do you have a coin? No. Okay, I got this magnet here. No. <laughs> it's a horseshoe. And it's got one side that's beveled inwards. You, and, and it's got a symbol on it. The other side doesn't. I'm going to flip this. What side are you? I'm the one without. What say you? <laughs> what say you? Alright, flat or face? I caught it sideways. Try it. So I won, does that mean I'm cooking? Or does that mean you're cooking? I don't know, we didn't decide. <laughs> <laughs> you just were like, I'm flipping a coin, I'm like, okay. I'm flipping a coin, we choose sides. What does the side mean? Don't know. Alright, okay, okay, so who would, if it flips to it, that person's cooking? Am I cheating and giving myself a second chance here? Is that how this is? <laughs> Am I calling mulligan on myself? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay, we'll do it that way. <laughs> You're cooking. Am I? Yeah. It shows you the flat face. Okay, that's fine. I know what I'm making. Let's see what today. Skeddy? Probably. Damn it. I wanted to make skeddy. Oh, wait, no, my, my meals are. I'm cooking as good, good. Yeah, mine are good, good too. But they were all based off of yours, remember? Oh, that's right. So I do need to cook first if we want to have that stuff. Because I was going to use, or you can use whatever's left over from what I cook with it. And we can just let half and half. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. I still have to prepare for that stuff, though. That's fine. We can just have Skitty. Because I was going to do the spicy shrimp over the fried the rice. Spicy Ooh. Uh, chicken. Oh, chicken. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, and the French onion will be Friday because I'll have more time to cook it then. Do we have garlic? We have dried garlic. That'll work. So yes. Okay. Because I, I was do doing have... the Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp. Yeah. I just I don't remember everything from that recipe. And then I was gonna do us a side of red baby potatoes. Yeah, that sounds funny. Baby red potatoes. That's right, yeah boys, smooth criminal over here can actually cook. He's learning. My burgers, though, mmm. Your burgers, you've gotten down real well. My eyes can't focus. Oh my god. It's, I think it's my big dumb hands and these super tiny pieces is the problem right now. At my former uni, which, from which I exmatriculated. That's a word. Exmatriculate myself. We had that Korean lad study chemistry here. Oh, you had somebody from Korea studying chemistry there. Nice. Neat. Did they speak German well? Oh, God damn it. I think I ruined my eyes today. Do you need help cutting out small pieces? Yeah. Okay. My big dumb hands won't do it, and when I try to stare at it, my eyes start burning. Okay, I got you. I think my eyes are broken. Does anybody have any eyes I can borrow? No, but I have drops you can put in them. Because they're not dry, they're just stupid. I just... 
I gotta tape this and, to recut it. You'll have to cut over the tape. Somehow. Oh wait, I'd probably do this with scissors. I'll just do it with scissors instead of the knife. That'll go better. I got it. You good? I think so. Okay. I'm trying. I stare at bright lights a lot during the day. Maybe during lunch you need to do that staring far away thing. I was. You were? I was staring out the window today nice. with my slushy. <laughs> so get this shit. My work decided that we needed a slushy machine. And so they bought us a motherfucking slushy machine. And it just sits in our break room at work. So out of nowhere, they're like, you know what would boost morale around here? A fucking slushy machine. <laughs> I was like, why do I feel like dad's about to tell us the dog died, you know? Like he's just gonna, oh, you're drinking a, I brought some home. <laughs> I have my water bottle here. That's the water bottle I use at work. I filled it with blue slushy and brought it home. <laughs> he sent me a picture and I was like, I'll take a blue one, please. <laughs> and I just kind of joke it. He's like, I'll bring some home for you. So I go, in, <laughs> go into the break room at the end of the day and just fill my f***ing water bottle up. It just tastes like blue for me, which is awesome. Oh yeah. I like look over my shoulder and shit. <laughs> Looking through the doorway, I was like, somebody gonna walk in and tell me I can't do this? It's okay, when I was a bartender or a lobster, I would always make myself like the non alcoholic versions of the drinks and just stir it in the cooler. No, oh, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I would have made myself the alcoholic version, so I would have got fired real quick. Debbie, you'll make me hungry, gonna lurk to find some dinner. Ooh, Nummy. do it, Sai Sentinel. We never got why he came here to study. His German was impressively bad. We still liked him. He was very friendly. That's great. German, we get coffee machine, maybe some snacks. Hey, there you go. Nice. We do, uh, they were just giving away a huge coffee maker for free. Like one of the ones that you would see at like a gas station. Like this fucking crazy thing. Cause they had two other ones in the, uh, two brand new ones in the break room. This company makes a lot of money, I think. And they pay us well. And then they just dump all this random shit on us, too. It's insane. You got a good job, baby. I did. I found myself a good job. And I'm like, mm, maybe I should go back to college now that I found this good job. <laughs> yes, because what we need is that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you getting it. <laughs> she just gets quiet, blinking. She's like, I'm gonna Already hurt doing you. the math in my head. I'm like, oh god, okay. What? It's only an extra twenty thousand dollars. Lyrics five hundred. Oh boy. I don't know. Some people just choose. I mean, I would go to Germany for college just because it's beautiful. And then they'd be like, the fuck you doing here? But in German, and I would go, I don't understand German. And then walk away from them. And that would be the end of the discussion. Same with how you're going to tell everybody in Korea you don't know me. I don't know him. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pick you up and run away. supposed to mean? Save me from being myself sometimes. I'm sure Val and Zadix might know about that, but... <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm gonna save myself from myself. Are you talking shit? Oh, okay. I'm glad we could have this understanding. Oh, and then last night we tried to go to bed like super, super early, and then we ended up staying up later than we wanted. We went to bed at like 9. Yeah. And, and I go to bed at 10 normally. Excuse me. <laughs> normally. And for for some reason, we sat in bed watching Daily Dose of Internet for two hours. 
It didn't feel like two hours. It did we not were feel very like two hours. shocked when it was 11. Yep. It's just suddenly 11 o'clock and we're just like, uh, excuse me, what? Nope. Please don't be that bad. It's so entertaining though. I can't believe each video, each, uh, yeah, each YouTube video from Daily Dose. It's only three minutes. Mm -hmm. Watched 